Hey folks, it's Duke here from GeoFolks. Today we're going to be using DeepSeek AI for a simple, almost effortless mapping task. So what I've done, I've booted up DeepSeek chatbot here, and I'm go I've gone to chat.deepseek.com, and I want DeepSeek to make a map for me, so I'm going to type in the prompt. I want to plot the three highest mountains on each continent on an interactive map. Clicking on a point should display the name of the mountain and the height and feet. I'll be using Python and Google Collab for this. Then what we can do down here is we can actually turn on the search button here. So we are able to search the web and we can turn on the reasoning, which allows us to see the reasoning of the deep language model. So we'll do that and then we'll click run here. Okay, we can see that DeepSeek stopped thinking. If we can see our, re our reasoning here, as the model is sort of thinking through the prompt that I gave it. And then it spits out some Python code for us. One thing I find cool here is that it actually creates a pandas data frame for us with the data. So we didn't have to go search for those mountains ourselves. Um, DC came up with that. It gives us a name, a height and feet, and then coordinates, and then the continent. It divided those out by the specific continents where the tallest three mountains were, just like we asked. Then it also broke the mountains up or the continents up by color. So we'll be able to identify it by different colors as well. Then it gave us some insight at the bottom, showed us what this code will be used for and gave us some different steps that we can use to deploy this code. So I wanna get this code going. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the code and click copy. Then I'm gonna go to my Google Drive what you can do is right click in whatever folder you want to put the Google Collab, Collab Notebook in, go to More, and then go to Google Collaboratory. This should open up the Google Collab environment. Okay, what I'll do here is in this first cell, I'll click Control V and paste in what I got from DeepSeek. Once we have that, I'll click this button over here and click Run. Oh, cool. So now we can see our interactive map with the values that we asked for. So if I click on one, we get a pop up with the name of the mountain and the corresponding height and feet. Hope this video helps you to get out there and make app maps pretty effortlessly using DeepSeek. Thanks for watching.